for those who didn't know yet, Singapore actually has cobras, namely spitting cobra. It's that species that can uh, eject venom from its fangs into eyes of uh, the predator. And it's surprisingly accurate, up to three meters, the range of its spit, I would say. I didn't see many of them in Singapore. I saw a few in Sungai Bulo. Sometimes I can find it there. I'm sure there are some other places where these snakes can be found in Singapore, but you would have more chances in Sungai Bulo. Also, if you see this cobra, you may be a bit underwhelmed. Because if you see cobra, you probably expect to see this hooded snake. However, this snake opens its hood only when it's threatened. It's like self-defense. Here are some photos that I took in Sungai Bulo. You may be a bit underwhelmed with these photos, but I'm not going to try to provoke the snake to open its hood. And I would advise you not to do that as well, because they are really highly venomous. They are also native to Singapore, same as estuarine crocodiles. Other name for Singaporean species of spitting cobra is equatorial spitting cobra. Fortunately, not all cobra species spit, but this one does. It never spat at me, because I usually behave well when I see one. It is also a diurnal snake, which means it's active during the day. So night walks won't help you finding it. They are not aggressive towards humans, at least. They prefer avoiding humans, so don't chase them, don't try to grab them, and you'll be fine. So keep distance, stay calm, don't provoke it. If you are sprayed, which is unlikely, but who knows what may happen, just wash it out immediately and go to hospital. Cobra is a popular snake, so to say. Thailand has a lot of cobra shows, or they call it snake shows. Usually a lot of cobras participating in those shows. So here I'm showing you some snake show from Pattaya. Actually, Pattaya or not, many of these uh, snake tamers, if it is a correct term. If you pay attention, you see they don't have fingers. Some of their fingers are missing. Why they are missing some fingers? So according to Google, to AI summary, so one of the reasons is infection after a snake bite. Other is uh, chronic pain because of nerve damage. However, I was talking to some uh, safari guides in Sri Lanka, which also has cobras. Sri Lanka is now a hot spot for wildlife. This guy told me another reason for missing fingers in these uh, snake show performers. And it's different from what I see in Google. So he says when snake bites someone's finger, they usually they tie this finger really tight, the finger phalanx. So the venom cannot enter the bloodstream. It takes some time for the venom to dissipate throughout your body. So what happens if you tie your finger really, really tight and prevent blood from exiting the finger? You also prevent blood from entering the finger. And definitely the erythrocytes cannot deliver oxygen to your tissues. And the tissues die. Necrosis happens. And uh, that's it. You pretty much, it's like uh, eventually finger dies. So tying the finger for a long time, it's kind of similar to amputating the finger. It's creepy, but uh, I don't know, whenever I see the snake show, those guys missing one or two fingers, sometimes three. Very dangerous job. In any case, nice animal, just don't provoke it, don't chase it. If you see it, you may have a nice photos of it. In Singapore, Sunyi Bolo is the best place to see those cobras. And also I see quite a lot of people go to Sunyi Bolo in particular to search cobras. Every other time I go to Sunyi Bolo, I see some folks who tell me they are looking for cobras there. If you also want to find one, good luck and stay safe.